Hello out there, I'm Rob, and in today's video we're going to discuss the proper storage of LiPo batteries. In the last blog that we had done, we discussed how to determine if a battery is safe and some of the circumstances behind what can cause a battery to be unsafe, things like that. And one of the important, important factors in maintaining battery safety is proper storage. One of the first things that you should understand is that batteries are comprised of chemicals and those chemicals can break down and interact with each other in weird ways. So the more you take care of your batteries and the better you pay attention to doing the right thing by them, they'll do the right thing by you. I've said it before, I say it a million times, take care of your batteries, they'll take care of you. I've got batteries five, six years old, hundreds of cycles on them and they're still running strong. Um, I have had a few, you know, over the years go bad and stuff like that and uh, it happens. But uh, the vast majority of your packs, if you take care of them, they should stay in pretty good health for years to come, okay? So, how do you properly store LiPo batteries? Well, there's a couple of different ways. One of the most basic ways is to use a LiPo bag. Okay, this is a bag we sell. It's a LiPo safe bag. It's good size, you can fit quite a few batteries in here. And it zips up nice and, nice and secure. And these are relatively inexpensive, and I use these um, often um, to transport my stuff to the field. So after I've charged my batteries, I'll put them in here, and I will take them to the field like this. Okay, and when talking about uh, charging batteries, I charge the night before or maybe the morning of um, a day when I plan to fly. I don't ever leave my batteries charged up, fully charged, for more than 48 hours if I can help it. Uh, the longer you leave them fully charged, the quicker they'll break down and degrade and lose their function over time, okay? So don't leave your batteries fully charged more than 48, maybe even 72 hours at most. Uh, in fact, on the blog it says 24 hours. So bottom line is if you're not going to use them within a day or so, knock them back down to storage voltage, 3.8, 3.85 volts per cell. That will extend their lifetime, that'll keep them healthy, and that's what you want, okay? It'll prevent disasters, okay? We've all heard the horror stories of lipo fires. Don't want to deal with it. Just too much risk. And batteries, you know, some of them are pretty expensive, but the bottom line is they're not worth your car, your house, your workshop, your garage, or anything that you leave them in that may end up having an issue with, okay? So it ain't worth it. Just take care of your batteries. The other way to store batteries, and this is one of my favorites, is using a bat safe okay now I use this at home to both charge and store my batteries so I've got a bunch of these all lined up on shelves with labels on them as to what's in them you know they're all discharge or all storage voltage but I still keep them in this bat safe and the reason I do that is because as far as I know this is the best security you can have for lipos okay or really I guess any battery what I've done is I've got some wires here and what these are is these these hook up to my balance chargers okay so I have extra leads here so what I do is I take this off the shelf it's got my let's say 4s 4000 batteries in it I'll take it off the shelf I'll put it on you know next to my charger and my charger has the leads plug this into the charger plug that into the charger the ends here these will go into a balance board with the batteries and then I can charge um, in parallel, sorry, parallel board. So I can charge two, three, four batteries at a time using a parallel board like that. So that's why these wires are hanging out like that. And I find that's a very convenient way to do things. Um, if the batteries are in here and they're on the shelf, that means I know that they've been knocked down to storage voltage. I will not put batteries in here and put the case on the shelf unless they're all at storage voltage. I am pretty fastidious about my batteries and you should be too because again, Nothing is worth the hassle of having a battery go bad and maybe spark up and cause an issue. Okay, it's just not worth it. So the other thing is a lot of guys will store LiPo batteries in ammo boxes, which can be found at, you know, army surplus stores and things like that. You can find them online. Do not use the plastic ones, okay? The plastic ones, in a pinch, okay, they're all right to bring your LiPos to the field with, but uh, I wouldn't store them long term in there and I wouldn't charge them in there, okay? Because plastic is flammable. Plastic will melt and it'll cause toxic, fe toxic fumes. Again, don't want to deal with any of that. So, you know, use something like this. Use a fireproof container if you can have it. You can build a bunker out of cinder blocks and bricks and things like that. Um, something that will contain any kind of issue if it happens to pop up. Some guys out there charge in a barbecue, okay? And, uh, yeah, okay. That, could work. Uh, I could see that being functional. It will isolate any incidents that may happen that might pop up. And the worst thing that happens if something does go awry, you lose a barbecue instead of losing again your garage, your workshop, your house, your car, you know, anything like that. So 
that's basically it. Um, so pay attention to your batteries. If you've stored them for long periods of time, a few months, before you charge them up, take them, check them. Take them out of the, the storage container you've got them in and check them. Check them for voltage, check them for internal resistance, IR. And if everything looks okay, if they're within spec and everything looks all right, then charge them up. Um, but you know, again, never charge batteries unattended. You should have them in, a, in the area where you are. You know, don't leave batteries charging overnight, even if they're in a bat safe, something like that. Don't don't do that. Again, it's just not worth it because if this, if something does go wrong, even though a bat safe does filter out all the you know the the the, the stuff that's going to come off of a battery, um, you still. You just don't want to deal with that. So charge your batteries in a place where you can keep an eye on them. You know, just put them next to your while you're watching TV or something like that. And you know, you can watch your charger and see if that's indicating any issues or anything like that. Be safe. Be smart. And again, if you take care of your batteries, they'll take care of you. Something else to keep in mind while you're storing and charging lipos is the temperature that they're in. Okay. You don't want lipos to get excessively hot. Okay. So don't leave them in a hot car in the sunlight if you live in Phoenix or someplace. You know, don't do that. Um, they want to stay at around, you know, ambient temperature. So if you're flying in the summertime and you're at the field and it is hot, try to keep them in the shade. Don't leave them out in the in the hot sunlight. They'll just uh, that'll they'll degrade them over time and just harm the the components of the battery. Uh, likewise, don't store them in a cold place. I've heard of people storing lipos in their refrigerator. Don't do that because that's a too cold. And B, when you take that out of the refrigerator, it starts to warm up it's going to cause condensation. Condensation is bad for the components and the chemical composition of LiPo batteries and that could cause a problem. So don't do that either. Store them in just ambient temperature in a cool, dry, dark place, you know, in a, you know, in your garage, in your basement. Again, in a secure environment, LiPo safe environment, bunker of some kind. And so if you have any further questions, please refer to the blog itself on the hobbyking.com. You can also post comments and questions in the comments and questions um, section here on YouTube and I try to answer these personally. And you can also reach out to us on our live chat which is 24-7. We have customer support ticket system and uh, we can also you can also stay in touch with us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and all those places. Okay, so any question or concern, reach out to us. We're always here to help you. And until next time, be smart, be safe, enjoy your LiPo batteries and uh, we'll see you next time.